the Honor 7X departs from the Honor 6X in a few ways. While the phones share a metal unibody design, the 5.9-inch 7X is tall and narrow, measuring 6.2 by 3.0 by 0.3 inches HWD, and 5.8 ounces. That's nearly identical to the 6-inch One Plus 5T, 6.2 by 3.0 by 0.3 inches 5.7 ounces and you get much more screen space than the similarly sized 5.2 inch G5 Plus 5.9 by 2.9 by 0.3 inches 5.5 ounces the Honor 7X supports LTE bands 2457-1217 which gives it good connectivity on GSM carriers like AT&T and T-Mobile though there's no support for Sprint or Verizon. It can take two SIM cards at the same time, one on 4G and one on 2G. I tested the 7X on AT&T in T-Mobile in Midtown Manhattan and saw good network performance on both. As you might guess from the price, specs are of the mid-range variety. The US model, and the one we have for review, sports a Kirin 659 processor clocked at 2.4 GHz with 3 GB RAM and 32 GB of storage. Huawei is selling the 7X with beefier storage and memory outside the US. Despite testing the base model, performance is solid across the board. In the Intu 2 benchmark, a measure of overall system performance, the phone scores 62,820 which is a little less than the Snapdragon 625 Power G5 Plus with score 63,845. The Honor 7X far surpasses entry-level phones like the Moto E4, 36,394, but can't stand up against the much more powerful OnePlus 5T with score 169,703. The 7X comes running Android 7.1 Nougat with Huawei's Mi 5.1. Huawei says the phone will get an update to Android 8.0 Oreo in the future. Emu is a heavy software layer that alters app icons and the settings menu, and adds new features. By default, apps are splashed across the home screens, but you can enable the app drawer if you prefer it. There are also a slew of features like the aforementioned power saving modes for the battery, performance boosting modes, display tweaks, and gesture controls.